welcome back to the 458 Speciali, but not for long. So today, we've had a bit of a turn of events. I'm not sure if you watched the video a few days ago, but when I was on the road to Jebel Jays, we were joined by a iridescent purple McLaren 720S, and I was drawn to it so much that I ended up filming it briefly on that video. I'll put a link to it below. However, the fine gentleman who owns that car just so happens to be a subscriber and reached out and said, would you like to borrow it? And I said, absolutely. Thank you very much, sir. So um, I don't actually know where I'm heading. Um, he's dropped a pin on Google Maps and said, turn up there and the McLaren will be waiting for you. So I'm on my way now. I've, it's taken me to a part of Dubai which I've never been to. It looks rather splendid. Um, and then we're gonna go and pick up this car. Really, this is one of those last minute random days, um, but normally they're the best. So we're gonna go pick up this car, and then the next point on the map is to go and check out some fancy property in Dubai. So here we are, seamless transition from the Speciali to a 720S. I'm having to pinch myself on a daily basis here. I mean, what is life right now? I'll stop start mode here, that makes it sound boring, doesn't it? Um, literally, I mean, I've met this guy for a matter of hours and he said, just take it, take the 720, have a good time. But instead of going out on our own, we're now following Ali in his Aventador SV which has something about the Roadster. I think it's the contrast black roof. Just makes it look so chunky. Just look at that thing, it looks amazing. So yeah, we're now uh, following Ali in his SV Roadster to the Palm. And uh, it's actually nice to change cars, despite the fact that I absolutely love having the Speciale here. We've been driving it now uh, daily for the last week. Uh, but to get into a left-hand drive car that is turbocharged from a right-hand drive car that's naturally aspirated makes just a, a complete change. Um, we're gonna go and explore the Palm, which I haven't had a chance to yet since I've been here. And we're going with someone who knows it like in the back of his hand in an SV Roadster. So let's hit it. Look who it is! Hey! <laughs> um, yes, it's Ali Webb, everyone. Uh, reason you're in town, pretty big deal. Racing Dubai 24 hour. Yep. T tell me about it. Yeah, so well, I right. escort you to our oh, We just so right. happen to be staying in the same hotel. We're both the uh, one and only, the Royal Mirage, no less. Um, so it, it's convenient that I can shuttle you around in a Speciali taxi. Yeah, well, it's yeah. kind of the most taxis around here. <laughs> so yes, 24 hours. Uh, this evening's practice? Exactly, practice and qualifying. So fifth year in a row that we've done it and uh, aiming to break the record for the most podiums in a row we've done in the last five years. Uh, oh, nice! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> cool. So yeah, we're with Lamborghini Leper 
uh, car 10 and uh, we've got qualifying tonight so I'll be uh, doing the qualifying for the team so we're going to uh, go grab some lunch and then we'll yeah. uh, check out qualifying. I'm super excited. Now earlier on, if you don't follow Ollie, I'll put a link below to his Instagram account. Um, You'll be becoming quite quite famous for your yes. first person view of when he's driving and drifting. Uh, the recent clip he put up of that Lambo, man, the yeah. downshifts shouldn't be legal. <laughs> it's it's like you need a license for that much excitement. It's it's obscene. It's insane. They changed the the fueling in the car this year, so the downshifts on the Lamborghini now are just so dramatic. Unbelievably <laughs> dramatic. And the GoPro I had on the chin on my helmet didn't have a case on it or anything. So like I played Full it back, audio. and even I was like, it's louder than what I heard because I had the earplugs in when I'm driving. <laughs> it's amazing. So race starts tomorrow. Yes, race starts uh, tomorrow. Yeah, God, that's come quickly. Uh, 2 p.m. Yeah. Friday till 2 p.m. Saturday because that's their weekend here in the UAE. Of course, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just a day to kind of um, eat as many burgers as I can on Sunday and, uh, and, and put all my weight back on. Yeah. Last, last year I lost between Friday and Sunday six and a half kilograms in that one race. Six and a half kilograms? Yeah. You must be, like, your body must be aware of that. Like, oh, the, yeah, like I do not feel good after it. <laughs> and you must sleep for four days because oh, I do, like, yeah, my you're sleep. 24 hours non-stop. But exactly. share between three drivers or four? So share between uh, four because we're in the, the pro -am class with, with the Lamborghini. Okay. Um, I will do 12 of the hours, the maximum I'm allowed oh, to do being an old driver. So. Right. So you're in at the deep end? Yeah, in the deep end. Yeah, I mean, ho obviously, hopefully that's the, that's the idea. A lot of these cars don't finish with it being 100, of course. 100 cars. Yeah, yeah. Everyone trying to fight for the, fight for the glory, but... Uh, oh, mate. So, I mean, right now, this is technically Dubai's winter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But what kind of temperatures are you rating in? I mean, because with it being 24 hours, you've got night and day. Yes. Day yeah. I mean, what? Are we, so well, right now we're 32 degrees. Yeah. So outside in and winter. Then, yeah, in winter. <laughs> so cool. it's between 25 and 35 in the day. Right. Uh, in the car is around 50 to 60 degrees. So you normally add another 20 degrees on top of whatever it is outside, inside, and then obviously you're wearing three <laughs> layers on top of that. Sounds like a good time, man. Yeah, it's great. But wow. then at night, yeah. it's not too bad. In the car at night, it's 30 degrees, and outside, it's more like 15 to 20. Right, okay. It's a bit cooler. Yeah. Actually, when you're out of the car in Dubai, believe it or not, uh, you would have noticed it walking around. It can be chilly at it night. It can be at night. It certainly isn't yeah. in the car, but no. it can be walking around. So when does this car actually then go back to England? Because you flew it over here, right? I flew it over here. So flew it over with Emirates and flying it back on the 16th. Now, I'm also flying back on the 16th, but I found out that there's different kinds of flights for different kinds of cars, right? So, if your car is able to roll in neutral with the engine off, aka manual, yes, <laughs> it can go on the same plane as you, because because the airport doesn't have to have the same pallet infrastructure yes. to move the car around. Yeah. Whereas if it's like this, where if the engine's off, you can't move it. Yeah, it has to go on the on these fancy pallets that like transport the the cars around, and the passenger planes don't receive the same pallets as cargo planes. So the chances are this almost certainly isn't flying back with me. Right. Um, but Emirates dealt with it all. I mean, I literally I spoke with them. So for those of you who don't know, the reason the car's here uh, is I work with Emirates to film an in-flight entertainment show about the logistics and a service that they offer of flying cars all around the world. And we did the Pagani Zonda, yeah. we did the Rolls Royce with the flares that fire out, out of the boot. And then they said, why don't you fly your own car instead of flying everyone else's? So I was like, that's such a wicked idea. <laughs> Thanks so for the idea. That's why we're here. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I doubt the car will be flying back with me, but in terms of the actual logistics of doing it, if you're doing it with Emirates, and I'm not sure how it works with anyone else, uh, they've teamed up with um, cars. So back in the UK, there's a logistics transport service that is literally called cars, but I, I think it originally stood for the classic automobile, automobile relocation yeah, services. Like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so you just go, I would like to send my car to Dubai, Here's the keys, yeah. and you, you just arrive and it's there. And then so, when, when that lands the same day as you, will yeah. you get that within 24 hours yeah. on the same day from cars once it comes off the plane? Absolutely, yeah. So if the car flies with you on the actual flight, I think you can have it within like six hours. Don't hold me to that, but when we did it, it was like there. That's it. So, yeah. I mean, certainly within 24 hours. Certainly. That's amazing. So, uh, yeah. 
I would imagine if you have all of the paperwork in place, that is something I spoke with the guys from Carl's about it. I was like, you know, so what is involved in this? He got like this file and was like, that. <laughs> it was like this, I was like, cool. <laughs> you take that. Thanks for doing that, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, today, back to hotel, grab some lunch, and then we're cruising over to the Dubai Autodrome to check out the sights and sound there of practice. Uh, and, but then all of the main sort of race coverage will begin tomorrow, so be sure to uh, tune in. On that note, drop some cogs and do it. Okay, super quick but super awesome lunch. So I did mention earlier on that I'll give you a, br a brief hotel tour. Look at this place. This is the one and only Royal Mirage Dubai. I stayed here a few times. It's absolutely outstanding. Now in Dubai there are actually two Royal Mirage. There's one on the very far side of the palm, which I would go so far as to say might be the best hotel in Dubai. Uh, but this is their other hotel and it's more convenient because it's much closer to town and you don't have to drive all the way across the palm in order to get back to mainland. But it's absolutely out of this world, stunning every single inch. And it's perfect for cars because they have this glorious parking space out front. Speaking of which, I now have to uh, jump back in the car, catch up with Ollie, head to the track. Okay, back on the road in the Speciali again. Ollie up front in the G-Wagon. No idea where he's got that from, he just turned up in it, which is pretty cool. It's such a culturally significant car. When you see a G-Wagon in Dubai, it just kind of fits. Uh, so we're now on our way to the Dubai Autodrome. It's gonna be a very different scene to the last time I was there on that sort of pretty chill tr track day. There's over 60 teams, I think, or maybe more than that, all in one place practicing for the 24 hour which starts tomorrow so yeah a little bit more time on, on the road then we're gonna end up at the track check out some proper race cars <laughs> too much away on this video because tomorrow is the real race so I don't want to uh, bore you with lots of racing content right now because tomorrow I've got a feeling already from the vibe here that's going to be fantastic. Just give you a quick whip around the garage where Ollie's racing and then we're going to head back to the Speciali so I can uh, edit this video. <laughs> Cars. It's still pretty awesome. Uh, back to the Speciali. I'm not going to give away too much of the racing today because tomorrow is the full race day and it also goes into the evening, which is when a 24 hour race for me really comes alive. But already, you smell the barbecue in the air there. You know, it is, it's got so much energy about it. The place is buzzing. Um, and so, we're calling it a day today so that we don't give away too much racing. Uh, tomorrow we're going to film it all and give you front row seats to the Dubai 24 hour and it's great because we are here 
with a team following my mate Ollie, so it should be really good first hand footage. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Ciao! So I